welcome. <clears throat> welcome to a John Legg Franklin tribute. Not really me, is it? Okay. I need to be honest with you. I need to tell you something. I am not a professional fragrance reviewer. I'm not an expert. In fact, I've no idea how to do things like edit videos. In fact, someone sent me a message recently and said, Leggy, can you put a timestamp on your video so I can find different things? And I'm like, not only do I not know what that means, I haven't got a clue how to do it. All right. I'm just a random, regular guy, John Legg. I have a massive collection of fragrance. And I've got to be honest, I have two purposes with this channel. One is to share these fragrances with you. And the other is to inspire you, inspire you to wear a good fragrance every day. If you can put up with the downsides, the non-flashy videos, the non-things that pop up and down, all the different sounds, if you can put up with that and the fact I'm not on Instasnap or Facegram and all, I'm not on any social medias, I'm just on here on YouTube. If you can put up with the sort of basics of this channel, stick around and you'll get a fun, light-hearted take on fragrances and you'll get an open-hearted, honest review. You know, Every single fragrance that I tell you about, it's based on my experience with these fragrances. It's based on how they perform on my skin. And I'll never stand there and read a, a rattle off a list of notes that I found on the internet. That, that's pointless. I will tell you if it's a rosy, if it's a fruity, if it's a vanilla -y sort of fragrance. I'll tell you what to expect and I'll tell you about the performance. But I'm not a professional reviewer, so please cut me a little bit of slack. Right. First of all, a massive welcome to a Johnny Leg Fragrance Review. You are so welcome to this channel. This channel is a hobby, it's fun, and it is real. So let's do it. Let me tell you about, not tell you, let me talk to you about a fragrance, which is in my top sort of five of summer fragrances. Dolce & Gabbana K, it's the Eau de Parfume. You know what? This is a sort of a fruity, citrusy, sort of almost goes towards an old school barbershop sort of soapy sort of fragrance over some nice sweet woods and a little bit of cinnamon and that sort of thing. And then at the base, you've got some beautiful amber and you've got some earthy notes. I've got a spray because I'm a massive, massive fan of this one. OK. This is such a well-organised fragrance. There's a load of notes in this one. It's almost note heavy, this is, the amount of notes in it. But there isn't a single note that puts a foot out of place. And therefore, it is a very creamy. You know, the citrusy, fruity at the top, it's creamy. And the middle is kind of cinnamony and it's cedar woody and it's beautiful in the middle. And at the base, the amber sure sort of does the base nicely sort of thing. And there's, there's a few earthy sort of notes in there and even the earthy notes they're not skanky dirt, dirty sort of earthy notes they're creamy earthy notes this is so well organized it's a polite fragrance it is a beautiful take on a citrusy woody fragrance and there's also a lot of vanilla in there which probably smooths the whole lot over it is an incredible fragrance it's classy it's gentlemanly and it's summery and all right, I'll be honest with you, on my skin, for about four, maybe four and a half hours, I get a nice steady projection and people comment because it is, it's a lovable, totally lovable summer scent. Okay, after the sort of four and a half hours, it drops down to sort of a little bit more than a skin scent. You just smell it, you get whiffs of it every now and then. Okay. 100 mil of this will cost you around about 60 to 70 pounds British money. So it's not a ridiculously expensive fragrance. It is, it smells high quality. So it's kind of almost worth that big price tag. But you're gonna to say to me, Leggy, come on man, find me a cheaper one that does the same job. Yeah, I'm your man for that. So let me go and get you a fragrance which is almost the same, very, very similar and a similar performance. I'll be back. Okay, so it's a latifer. You know what? 
Look at that bottle. That is Raid. Now you've got to be careful because there's about three or four in the range and they all have different colour caps. This is the blue clap. clap. Cap, come on, leggy. Right, this cap too tight, probably. Right, okay, so this is the blue cap. It is called Latifah's Raid Lux. Okay, this thing, 100 mil, will cost you around about 15 pound eBay British money. Let me tell you that it's almost the same. You know what? Okay, I'll be perfectly honest with you and say that there is more depth to Dolce & Gabbana K Eau Perfume. And if I had to sort of be a real anorak and tell you what the difference is, yes, there is more depth in that one, but that is slightly sweeter. Okay, they're all similar sort of notes. You know, you can't, you know, all right, I'm being a total anorak saying that that one's sweeter and that one's deeper. They're kind of, if someone walked past you with that one, the Latifah kicking off them, you would just assume it was Dolce & Gabbana K. All right, they are that, that close. Okay, what about the performance on the Latifah? Because this is almost exactly the same. On my skin, I almost get exactly the same four hours of a scent bubble that projects off me steadily. And it dips down and then you smell it from time to time. You know what I would say on my skin, these are on a par. But when that is £15 and when that is £60 to £70 for the same amount, I'm going to say it's a zero brainer. That one is the one to buy. OK, so is there any downside to this? There isn't really because it is just so ridiculously close to Dolce & Gabbana's K at a perfume, okay? Yes, it is slightly sweeter, and yes, if you were going to be really picky, you would say it didn't have the same depth. But realistically, for £15, I'm going to say a perfect, perfect summer fragrance. You know, you can wear it in the office because it will not offend anyone because it is that kind of beautifully creamy, lovable, sort of citrusy, fruity, woody sort of scent. You know, it kind of, it's kind of almost soapy clean sort of thing. And it's definitely super silky smooth. You know, this was perfect with a shirt and tie. And no, I'm not going to put my shirt and tie back on. There's no way. This will go perfect with a shirt and tie. It's perfect maybe with a, a jeans and a t-shirt. You can. It's very versatile. I would say in, it's not quite a teenage fragrance because it's got that maturity to it. I would say maybe sort of 20 plus in terms of a guy. Yes, it's very manly, but I would imagine it's marketed as unisex. But being as it's sort of a clone of a men's fragrance, I sort of see it as a men's fragrance. But you know what, as a woman, if you want to wear it, why not? It's that beautifully lovable, citrusy, woody, earthy, creamy, beautiful, well-organised, very well-disciplined, polite fragrance. Now, I'd love you to come back to this uh, channel again. I'd love you to see, I'd love to see you on the next review. So in the meantime, I'd love you to stay safe. I'd love you to spray fragrance every single day every single day, you know, put it on before you go to work, put it on while you're at work, stick it in your bag, chuck it on at lunchtime again, keep one in the little box of your car and spray fragrance all the time. Take care. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.